everybody. Bonjour à tous. Bonjour, uh, bonjour à tutti. <laughs> Guten Tag. <laughs> we, we do this in English this time because we have a few people who told us that they could not deal with uh, Swiss German. What you see here is um, the installation of the new antenna system on Rigi Scheidegg in central Switzerland. And um, these guys are helping us doing it and they are struggling, of course, as usual with the new antenna that we have not installed before. It's a so-called LZ beam. Okay, this is the 6 meter beam almost finished and we see HP9 GIQ looking over the 6 meter beam. Uh, next thing is the ballon and then this little thing over here and then this should be ready to go up. Okay, so this is Wolfgang, HP9RYZ. Hi. Yeah, and he actually was promoted from uh, QC, quality control, to project leader. Congratulations, Wolfgang. So Thank he's you. our project leader today. And now he's taking care of the, the... guy who is soldering all the cables. Yeah, <laughs> the sol <laughs> Mr. Solder. And uh, he's taking care of the 12 volt supply, which or 13.8 volt supply, which... Um, uh, a few plugs came off. This is this is typical, so nothing unusual. Thanks for your work, Wolfgang. Thank you. Mm. Okay, here we have HB9 BIN with the sunglasses. He looks cool. And then, ladies first, actually, we have um, HB9 Foxtrot Zulu Charlie, Karin, and we have Rene HB9 NBG. As you can see, they are on the first element of uh, the HF beam, um, whereas the 6 meter beam is finished. So, okay. Well, yeah, the mounting plate's not there yet. Unbelievable. So, Rene, what are you doing? <laughs> We're assembling the director. This is the director. Yeah, but how, why does it take so long? No, that, that's a small, a small, a very small antenna, the six meter beam. <laughs> yeah, five elements, how many do you have? <laughs> Ten. <laughs> Ten, okay, so you should be halfway done. What's this? <laughs> okay, that's not fair. No, it's not fair. <laughs> so we see here yeah, HP9 BIN and HP9 RYZ. No, or RYZ, yeah, it's dealing it's with the 12 volt supply, it's finally working, and yeah, now yeah. some insulation tape, and we should be ready. HP9 BIN is worried and, uh, about um, his flex radio, he's thinking about Elecroft, seriously thinking about Elecroft. Uh, he's, he's, he, he just, no, he, he's just fed up with all these Windows updates and <laughs> and tax corruptions and cat issues so uh, he's going the other way. We have a surprise guest HB9 EHO Echo Hotel Oscar he's actually the master of another remote station but he's here joining us installing this beast here and um, what do you think is it going fine any issues yes it's very good no problem Okay, final, uh, uh, famous last words, as they say. René, what do you say? No, it's, it's, it's perfect. It's perfect. It's, we are in the, in the schedule. We are in schedule. Okay, that's the main thing, huh? That's, that's the main thing. I think so. We hope that the WX will okay, hold yeah. yeah. till the end of the day. <laughs> if we all it's hope that. Out. Okay. <laughs> We have no choice, we need to finish this today again. Okay. This is uh, Frederick, HB9 CQK. Hi. We are at Riggy Mountain. Yes, and it's almost raining. 
almost raining and we just rebuilding our destroyed antennas. Yeah. So we had an opti beam for 10 to 12, 20 meter and also this beam fell down due to heavy storms but not because of the beam because That's of right. the mast. Actually it fell down because this tube here this tube here broke and it's a three, three millimeter aluminum 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 tube. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So the antenna was still fine but when it came down it was totally destroyed of course. Okay and uh, now we <clears throat> try to find an alternative yeah. antenna yeah. and uh, sadly we were not able to find... No, we couldn't, we we, couldn't we get couldn't. an OptiBeam beam anymore. Yes. We, actually, we actually were promised by Tom, the, um, the head of, of OptiBeam, beam that we could get one of his new 11 element uh, versions, 5 band antenna and he promised that to us, we ordered it and then he found out uh, that he had prom promised that to an Australian ham before so that was a very very big disappointment and he then said the next the next availability would be in summer so after our deadline here and um, that was really that was really for us a very difficult situation um, because we have to do this installation today yeah or maybe we can shift a, a week or so but this is this is a major organization. You cannot just come up here because when you look at this truck here and behind, it's a very, very small road to drive up here. The weather conditions need to be right. So it was dangerous because of the, the wet weather and everything. So long story short, it must be installed today or in a week or two, more, not more. We don't, that's the window we have for installation and Tom just couldn't deliver. He wouldn't even understand that we have this kind of um, uh, window. Now we had, fortunately, we could get in touch with uh, Georgi from uh, uh, LZ Antennas, and he tailor-made a antenna for us, the an LZ beam for us, which was specially strengthened to survive the heavy wind load and the heavy snow up here. So now we keep our. Fingers Can we have just a look to this antenna? Yeah. Just so a moment. It's not quite finished yet. <laughs> René and Karin are working on it and um, we will first actually install uh, the 6 meter antenna which is still an OptiBeam by the way and that will be 3 meters above uh, the, the LZ antenna and um, we all, all are hoping or praying whatever keep our fingers crossed whatever we can do to make sure the antenna stays up there okay yeah. So finally we decided to install an LZ beam. Yes. And uh, you see it's almost finished and ready to get up to the most. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, was, you know say, Gorg, Georgi was really understanding. He understood immediately yeah. what our problem was and yeah. he was also able to deliver on time. Because it's a very weather exposed uh, um, location. location here. And uh, that's why I need a special version. He George he uh, did that for us. And I hope uh, we, we keep the finger crossed that he will, this antenna will survive the next winter, all these well, storms. or even a bit more. Or a bit more. <laughs> and uh, yeah, Tom was uh, telling us uh, why you could not wait three months longer. But uh, Frederick and I, we have the motto, the life is too short to, be, to have no beam. So um, yeah. the reason was to get it up at that fast and uh, we had an... The day we today, did, as we were running the risk, we did. Yeah. Tom couldn't tell us when he could actually deliver a beam. We were running the risk that we would have no beam for exactly. more than a year, so, exactly, or even almost a year. Because exactly. we don't know when we can do the next installation. Yeah. So that's that's the situation. And you should see the weather is very local here. You see it just uh, one hour ago again. Uh, one one hour ago it was raining. Now you see some fog, and you see down to uh, Sug. Canton Zug in the middle of Switzerland. You see there are the lake, Lake of Zug. And here you see all the equipment, flex radio 6700, expert amplifier and so on. So uh, you will see more on our website, more in detail. Okay, uh, Frederick, yeah. something to add? No, that's fine. Actually, your English is better than I thought. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, my name is Wolfgang, HP9 or YZ. And this is HP9 CQK. Okay, see you. See you on the air.
a... Yes, uh, we have some you, rain. You like working in the rain? rain? <laughs> Cooking in the rain. Cooking and working, I said. <laughs> working in the meantime, it's raining bad.